let's get back and get them on the car and see if I've made the right decision. Hello and welcome back to the Volks Wizard channel. Now, some of you may remember when I bought my Audi R8 Spider back in December, it came on its original gray wheels, which are lovely in isolation, but they looked a little bit lost on a gray car. So within a week of buying the car, I'd also bought these silver wheels, which are on it now, and they're definitely a step in the right direction. When I fitted them nearly all you guys approved of what I'd done, but there was this nagging doubt in the back of my mind that we could do better. It was just gonna take a little bit more effort. So today we're gonna to get these silver wheels off, send them up to Prestige Wheel Center in Birmingham and have them done in a color combination, which wasn't a factory one for the Mark I, definitely might've been for the later R8s. And keep our fingers crossed that it actually is an improvement over straight silver. Cause if it's not, I'll be spending a few hundred pounds to get them done in the wrong color combination and having to spend a few hundred pounds more to get them done back in silver again. So stay tuned, let's see how this works out. Okay, so the gray wheels are back on and if anything, they confirm how much better the silver wheels looked. With those, we had contrast between the bodywork and also they tied in nicely with the only bit that's shiny on this car because it's a black style impact car, the windscreen surround. Also, there's a certain angle where the rear wheel looks tiny and once you see it, you can't unsee it. I think it's something to do with the styling of the Spider versus the Coupe because the C pillar is a lot shorter. So you have more of a flat section over the rear wheel. And because the gray is very close to the color of the tire, it makes the wheel look tiny. The silver looks bigger, only a little bit bigger, but big enough to avoid that unfortunate look you get with gray on a black tire on a gray car so the sooner we get these awful grey wheels off the better so let's get the silver wheels loaded into the S4 and take them down to Prestige Wheel Centre. Welcome back to Prestige Wheel Centre. So I've been on the channel a few times, as well as being one of the biggest new wheel agents in the country with Vozen and just loads of other brands. They're big on wheel refurbishment as well. So if you don't want to spend four figures plus for some wheels, you can spend a few hundred and sort of transform your existing ones. So this is a lot of the colors they do, but not all of them. And I think the color we're going to go for is on here but we're going to do it with a little twist. And I've had a chat with the guys and they think it's going to work really well. Um, it's actually an Audi OEM color, so it should look right. But as I say, we're doing it with a little twist. So it should look very good against the Daytona gray. So I'll be back here in a few days and I'll show you what color we've gone for. Well, it's been about a week and I'm back at Prestige Wheel Center. This is Dell, who actually last time I came here told me that silver wheels were back in fashion. Pretty, yeah, uh, a lot more demand for silver wheels now compared to a few years ago where a lot of people were asking for, you know, black wheels uh, or darker colored wheels. That's interesting, yeah. yeah. So that stuck in my mind when I was deciding what to do with these wheels. Originally, I was gonna go the original gray, but diamond cut to make it look a little bit racier than silver, but how bad it looked with the gray wheels completely gray just put me off that and I spoke to Dell and the guys here, and we kind of all decided to go for as bright as possible. So we've gone for the brightest silver. Which uh, one? Yeah, so we call this uh, platinum silver. So on the inserts of the wheel here, it's uh, what we call a platinum silver. 
and this time we've gone for a diamond cut finish with a glass clear. So can you actually get a brighter wheel than that? You can go slightly brighter, but you know, you do want a little bit of contrast between the silver aspects and the, That's the, true. Uh, the diamond cut area. I think it's going to look amazing. A good thing about what Audi have done with these wheels is they don't change the centre caps, whether it's grey or silver, yeah. you use the same caps, which makes life a lot easier with Porsches. It's somewhat more expensive to uh, change colour. All the work, apart from the chemical stripping of the wheels, which is a filthy, dirty job, is done in-house. So the wheels have been... Uh, so you get tyres removed, yep. uh, then uh, TPMS or, or valve stems out, weights removed, uh, chemical strip, uh, then they go through elsewhere. prep. Uh, prepped here. Prepped here. Yep. Uh, some cleaning work, then onto first stage powder coats, uh, colour applied, and after it's cured, it goes onto machining. Uh, you, you're, the diamond you're cutting? The, yeah, diamond cutting, yeah. yeah. You've seen some of the machining uh, process. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, and once that uh, happens, uh, some deburring and then back into uh, clear coats. That's four stages and effectively... Pretty much four that, stages, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, it's not the cheapest way to get a wheel done, but I think on the R8 it's super important that it just looks as good as the rest of the car, if that makes sense. And what's generally the lead time for doing this kind of work? Uh, it depends on the overall condition of the wheels, but on average uh, three to five days, sometimes a little bit quicker, sometimes a little bit longer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, I've waited long enough, so let's get back and get them on the car and see if I've made the right decision. Okay, before we put the wheels on the car, I thought we'd just have a quick look at them on the ground. I need to point out that I have sprayed Autoglim wheel protector on them, and that's because the diamond cut finish is not as durable as the painted section. That's exactly the same if the wheels were brand new from the factory. So that dries clear generally, but if you see any funny marks on the wheels, it's probably that where I've sprayed a bit too much. It's been left for 24 hours to dry, and to be honest, it's barely noticeable, so it's nice to have that on the wheels. Now, a lot of you guys will probably be saying they look very similar to what they did before they went to Prestige Wheel Center, i.e. silver, but the devil is in the detail, and sometimes the videos aren't very good at showing you the detail needed to appreciate the difference that you would appreciate easily if you saw the wheels in the metal. But basically those wheels were bought cheaply and they'd been at some point refurbished quite cheaply as well. The silver wasn't very bright and they were quite orange peely in certain areas. Of course we didn't have the diamond cut section as well which may not be so obvious on a dull day like today but when the sun comes out that will absolutely sparkle particularly when the wheels are rotating they will look amazing diamond cutting just makes wheels look more expensive and i think that's important with a car like the r8 and by the way this is a factory option as well so we're keeping it very oem oh i've whetted my appetites so much now we just have to get them on the car and see what they really look like Feels a bit like deja vu, but here we are then with my Audi R8 Spider and some different color wheels on it once again. But when I fitted those silver wheels back in January, I did say on camera that I felt while they were better than gray, we could do better still. So we've got all the plus points of those wheels, a nice bright color that contrasts with the tire and the body. But this time we have a brighter silver, we have a better quality refurbishment, and we have the luxury of a diamond cut finish. Now, I know a lot of you guys don't like diamond cut because it's not as durable as painted, but with a car like this, I think it's important because it makes the wheel look more expensive and that's what you need on an expensive car. So yeah, I'm super happy 
Now I think the car is pretty much perfect. I just need to use it more. It is nearly the end of April now and I've probably done a thousand miles in the car since I bought it, which for me is not an awful lot, but that's primarily because the weather hasn't been that great. If it's not been raining, it's been really cold. So yeah, hopefully in May things will change. We'll get the roof down, we'll do some trips in the car and get using it. In the next video on the R8, in theory, I'll be fitting a paint protection film piece to the bonnet of the R8 because it's pretty much perfect now. I want to keep it that way. It's probably about the front third of the car, so it's not a full piece, but it's a good way of learning the job. A little bit more complicated than the boots piece I did on the Club Sport S. Big thanks to you guys for watching this video. Big thanks to the guys at Prestige Wheel Centre for doing such a great job on the wheels. So if you need refurbishment or new wheels, then get in touch with those guys. I'll put a link to their website in the description of this video. Keep subscribing, keep commenting, and I'll see you for the next one very soon.